Hi, in this video I will show you how you can insert and use pie charts in Microsoft Excel. Of course in Excel we have many types of charts, but pie charts are sometimes the best type to use in certain cases. For example, when you want to show part of a whole from your data. And now let's go and see how we can do that. So I have this table which is showing the number of items sold per quarter. And I want to represent this data in a pie chart to see how much each quarter contributed to the total sales that we made in the whole year. So first of all, I will select all the data, including the headings. If I select the headings, they will be used in the title of the pie chart, but also I can select only the data without heading and then write the title of the chart manually. Then I will go into insert and from here in the charts section you can see the part of pie charts so if I press on it I have different types I have the 2d pie charts and the 3d pie charts also I have the donut charts so I will choose the 2d pie and here as you can see now I have a pie chart for my data of course I can left click on the mouse and I can change the location of the chart I can also make it bigger or smaller from here and as you can see each quarter is represented by a different color but I cannot see the values inside the pie chart so I can press on this plus here for chart elements and for data labels I can add it so you can see that it showed me the number of sales made per quarter but this is not my intention from using the pie chart because pie charts are usually used to show percentages and not values so that we know how much each part represents of the whole 100 percent of something so in order to change these values into percentages I'll press on the chart here and from the add chart element here I will go into the data labels and from here I will go into more data label option and as you see this window opened on the right side now you can see that the value is checked but the percentage is unchecked so I will check the percentage and as you can see it's showing me the value then comma then the percentage I don't want the values I can see them in the table and also they are not very important to show I will uncheck it so you can see that for example quarter one represents 22 percent of my sales and the best performing quarter was quarter two by 40 percent quarter three nine percent and quarter four 29% also I can position the labels wherever I want so I can make them as center inside end outside end or best fit I think the best in my case is the inside end also what I can do is I can press on the chart now it's selected from here I can change the angle of first slice so if the angle of first slice is zero I can see them like that and if I change the angle the positioning of the slices will change and it will go in the clockwise as you can see so depending on how and where I want to show the slices I can choose different angles so for example let's keep it like this 63 also for pi explosion I can make it as compacted pie like this or I can explode it if I increase the percentage as you can see the slices will go further from each other also I have the option to just make one slice explode if I want to give it more importance for example this slice I can select it and I can move it away and back to its place.
of course I can change the title from here also in case I want to adjust it from the heading of the table and if I want to change the colors of slices I can do it from here change color so there are different combinations for colors or also I can change them one by one so if I select this slice and I go to format and I can change the shape fill into different color for example green as you can see I can I can also change the outline for example I want the outline to be white or black I can do it one by one or I can also select the whole chart and make outline for it as black you can see now that all slices are outlined in black color also what I can do is that I can adjust this space for the chart and the chart design here chart styles I have different styles that I can use for example those but I will keep this normal one it looks good for me so this was all for the pie charts in Microsoft Excel I hope this video was helpful for you to let you represent your data in a visual way and show part of a whole in a pie chart that looks dynamic and interesting to present in a report don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and share this video